Praise the Lord, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome back to All Things Possible, prophetic brand with yours truly, prophetess, seeker, Esther Grace. I pray that this message find you in peace and in harmony. And I pray that if you're going through anything that's disturbing your peace and your joy, I pray for the shalom, which is the peace of God. I pray for the strength of God. I pray for his restoration to be upon you now in the name of Jesus. And just remember, there is nothing too hard for our God. Nothing too hard for him. Amen. Today's message is a hard place. I want to stop and invite the presence of the Holy Spirit in. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Take over this broadcast. Take over this time of affirmation, declaration, and prophetic teaching and insight. Have your way. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Amen. A hard place. This message has been with me for maybe a year now if not a little bit longer and i just been waiting on the right time to release it the reason why i said it's been with me is because not that long ago the lord delivered me from a very hard place and in that time i was able to see him move like never before i was able to see him bring me out some things that the enemy just knew I was not going to come out. And even in my natural state, it, it looked hopeless. It looked doom. It looked gloom. It seemed like the when I took one step, I got knocked back five. It seemed like when I would set myself on something and accomplish something, it seemed like something will always come up. It seemed like no matter what I did or tried to do, no matter how much I worked hard, it seemed like I could never get out of this rut. I could never get out of this place. But I'm here to let you know today, right now, the Lord has delivered and he's going to deliver you too. He already let me know that those that are tuning in are going to be able to relate a hard place. Let's define the word hard. That is solid, firm, is, is rigid, not easily broken, uh, bent or pierced. And, and another um, dictionary says, done with a great deal of force or strength so you know when you're in something hard it's not going to take your normal strength it's not going to take your normal power it's going to have to be something that's extraordinary it's going to you're going to have to go above and beyond and that's what we depend on the power of elohim which is god we depend on the power of jesus we depend on his resurrection power because the word of the lord is sure that same power that got jesus up on that third day is on the inside of us for those who are believers for those who confess and believe that jesus is lord we have that same power on the inside of us so we got to call on the name of Jesus and we got to activate that power with our faith and we got to activate that power with our prayer life and activate that power during our time of worship and we got to release it release it in those circumstances and release it in those situations and we will be able to see God's power resurrect some dead things in our lives and, and, and we will be able to see his power bring us out of some things like never before if you will, turn with me to Psalms 34 and 19. Hallelujah. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him or her out of them all. I'm going to read it again. Psalms 34 and 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him or her out of them all. That's a promise. We often wish we could escape troubles, the pain of grief, loss, sorrow, and failure, or even the small daily frustrations that constantly wear us down. God promises to be near to those who have a broken heart to be our source of power, our source of strength, our source of courage, and our source of wisdom, helping us through our problems. When trouble strikes, not if, but when, when trouble strikes, don't get frustrated. I know that this is easily said than done, I know. Still, I encourage you today, when trouble strikes, don't get frustrated with God. 
Instead, do something different. Shock the devil. Admit that you need God's help and thank him. Even though you don't feel like it, even though you don't want to, command your soul to thank him for being by your side, even when it appears that he's not. Hebrews, go with me to Hebrews 13 and 5. Let your conduct be without covetousness, but content with such things as you have. For he himself, speaking of God, has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. That's a promise, y'all. I will never leave you nor forsake you. We become content when we realize that God's sufficiency for our needs are ultimately his heart's desire and it's ultimately a provision a promise from the lord in other words god promised us that in philippians 4 and 19 that he will supply all not not just occasionally not just when we're doing good not just when he feels like it but the lord said i will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory through christ jesus that's a promise you got to put god in remembrance we must be truly convicted and reminded that let me say that again we must be truly convicted and reminded that our antidote our only antidote our help is to trust god to meet all of our needs according to his riches and glory you got a need today Go before the Lord with that need. Bring Philippians 4 and 19 to his attention. Remind him of his promises. Praise him in advance and see won't that need come to pass. We must also take God out of the box. A lot of us have him in this box. Figuratively speaking, because God's way of doing things is not going to always be the same. In other words, he, have, he may have met that need through a bonus on your job before and, and and you have another need and you're expecting to get another bonus a lot of us been waiting on this stimulus check praise the lord hallelujah for a long time but god is saying i may not come that way to meet your need i need you to take me out of this box because i'm able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think according to the power that worketh within you that power he's referring to is the holy ghost power so yeah he met that need through a bonus or he may have used a family member or he may have used a friend or he may have allowed a loan to be approved but that doesn't necessarily mean that god is going to meet that need that same way again just be open to him just say lord i don't know how you gonna do it but i know you said in your words that you will meet all my needs according to your riches and glory through christ jesus i'm just praising you i'm just thanking you right now i'm just giving you all the glory i'm just lifting your name up because i know you would never leave me nor forsake me i know that you promised to be with me always so i'm lifting up this need before you and i'm giving you glory and i'm giving you honor and i'm giving you praise because i know that i know that i know that you're able to to do anything but fail glory hallelujah a hard place mm, a hard place glory be to god psalms 34 and 18 the lord is near to those who have a broken heart and save such as have a contrite spirit that contrite spirit is a repentant spirit a remorseful spirit a hard place god pays attention to those who call on him let me say that again. God pays attention to those who call on him. Don't let the devil make you think otherwise. Whether God offers escape from trouble or help in times of trouble, we can be certain, we can be assured that he always hears and acts on behalf of those he loves. I prophetically decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus for those that are in this hard place. Hey, for those that have been in this place for a long time, it is coming to an end. That hard place have an expiration date on it and it is now in the name of Jesus. It's coming to pass and God is going to show up and show out like never before on your behalf. 
not only will you not end in defeat like the you know the enemy like to try to show you those short films in your mind is what i call them he like to show you the short images to inject torment and inject fear upon you and have you to speak anything but the word of God, but the devil is a liar. But for those that this, that's coming to an end, for those that's coming to an end of a hard place, not only will you come out, but you're going to come out victoriously in the name of Jesus. Not only will you come out, but you're going to come out with blessings on top of blessings. Your hands are going to be full with blessings. You're not going to come out empty handed in the name of Jesus. You're not going to come out empty handed in the name of Jesus. I'm a living witness that God is able to deliver you from that hard place. Please, whatever you do, man of God, woman of God, don't stop seeking God. Don't stop crying out to him. Don't stop believing that he's, he's able to deliver you from anything. There's nothing, nothing too hard for our God. Nothing. He promised, he promised to be with us always. So you just got to know that you know that you know that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all. Let's take the limits off of God and declare thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Merciful Father, I praise and thank you that all of my needs are met and that you're delivering me from this hard place and that you will deliver me and not just only deliver me, but you will deliver me. Um, with my hands full of blessings you I will not be empty handed I will come out with more than what I came in with in the name of Jesus that that I lost you will give me greater for that that I lost you will give me better for I will not come out empty handed in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus glory hallelujah I just pray right now for that person's mind I hear it in the spirit of the Lord in the name of Jesus I bind that spirit of torment. I bind that harassing demon in the name of Jesus. I bind you spirit of oppression and depression. And I command the spirit of joy. And I speak life to that person. And I speak restoration of salvation to that person. And I speak restoration of finances to that person. And I speak restoration of hope to that man, to that woman of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray even now that you wrap your loving arms around him or her. I pray even now that they feel your presence oh God I pray even now that you even gird them up on every side and I just decree and declare Isaiah 54 and 17 in the name of Jesus no weapon fashioned against them no hard place no hard place fashioned against them shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ and that they're coming out they're coming out victoriously in the name of Jesus they're coming out with the mind of Christ they shall not die but they shall live and testify about the goodness of the Lord and I just pray this and I believe this and I decree it and declare it to be so in the name of Jesus and I want you all to remember Jesus is Lord be blessed amen